What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be installing the Stiffy Coffer Bar from Cool Ride Customs. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the motor out. You don't have to for the installation, but it's gonna make it a lot easier. I wanna triangulate the transmission to eliminate wheel hop. I have a lot less wheel hop from changing the shocks and I also installed a mid mount for the transmission. So this is gonna stiffen everything up so I don't break another transmission. So let's get started. Let's pull this thing out. So now that we got the engine out, we can start putting in the coffer bar. I did notice some um, oil leaking. Looks like it's coming from the seal right here. I'm gonna have to replace that, so we're not gonna put the engine back in when we're done. Kinda sucks, because this is a brand new transmission and it shouldn't be leaking out of that seal. So let's get started. Put the coffer bar in and get it done. This is just some soapy water, so we clean that. Reset. All right, so now that the bell housing is semi-clean, we're gonna go ahead and take the nuts off the top shock tower bolts on each side. Are you guys saying anything? Yeah, I'm a bad boy. I use chrome sockets on my impact. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put these on the shock tower bolts. And I think that, nope. So I think they go like pretty much like that. Bolt in this left driver's side might be, might need some trimming. I'm not sure, but we're gonna see. Look at that guys, that one looks pretty good. How one, one point goes right here, goes across the other shock tower and this one goes down to the pan or the framework. That side looks like it might need some trimming, but let's tighten the bolt up and see what happens. Actually, not too bad. I can still move it around. So you guys notice I'm using the impact, this M18 Milwaukee half inch impact. I'm not torquing it down crazy. There's actually a setting that stops the impact when it gets tightened. So I'm not going crazy on this, so don't worry. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and put the longest bar first and see what it looks like.
lined up. Ow. Put the pin in with a cotter pin. Driver's side is done. I might have to twist. So I put them on basically the pin on top and the cutter pin on the bottom. That way if something happened, for some reason these are gonna fall out, I'll still have the pin in there and I can always just replace the cutter pin. All right, so that top one is done. We're gonna go ahead and put this one on now and connect it to here. I think from the instructions, they're supposed to be, the ears are supposed to be on the back. And then these guys, get bolted to the frame horn. I think we're supposed to drill a hole for that and run a bolt. So I'm gonna have to find a bolt. I know, I'm a bad boy. I'm using chrome sockets on an impact. All right guys, so check it out. I would recommend removing the engine because you will have to remove the axles off the torsion bars loosen up the transmission that way you can pull it back so you can install the ears in the back so at least i have to trim up the trans mount so i can mount this um, kind of sucks, but it is kind of big. So we're just gonna mark it and then cut it with the grinder. Boom, check that out. Alright guys, driver's side is done. Man, that was kind of hard. Kind of sucks that everything has to get removed in order to install these. So I should have done this before I put the body in the car. So let's move on to the passenger side. guys so check that out it was kind of hard to get these on behind the trans mount but we have one two three four five six points now and we still need to install the rear ones that go or the front ones that go to the floor pan or the frame horns so we're gonna do that tomorrow we're gonna do call it a night today and we'll be back the next day all right guys so it's the next day and I got the rest of the coffer bar installed. And that's basically it. Everything's all sitting static. So I can still twist the bars. So there's no load on it right now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and buy a new seal, a new throw out bearing, and then I'm gonna check out the clutch on the engine. And then we're gonna go ahead and install everything back together and we should be ready to go on the next video. Peace.